Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today is part three of Berry B Berry Extra Careful Part Three. Actually, I was gonna I, I was gonna title my message Do Not Think with Your Little Head. Think with your big head, okay? Because actually that's what we normally do as guys. The not the women, but we guys we think a lot. I mean a lot, like a hundred percent. We think a lot with the little head that we have down there. We always think with the little head. Always gets us in trouble. All the freaking time. And it got me in trouble a few times. And believe me, it got, it got me in trouble in the first marriage. And then I, I, I got divorced. And then I got married again. And I'm getting divorced. I'm working on divorce. I already made the last payment. And maybe by God willing, by the end of the month, I should have my paper signed and and stuff like that. Let's hope to God. I hope everything works out for good. Amen. So I, all I want to say is, is um, just be careful. Be very careful. Uh, see, the whole thing has to do with be careful. There's a lot of people out there, men and women. Okay, it goes for the men. It goes for the women. And mainly the women, some women, not all of them, some women are evil. That the Bible says they are like a like a deep pit. Some of them are very the Bible says that that they are so conniving and so tricky that you cannot know their ways. You gotta be careful. This is what the Bible says. Okay, I didn't say this. The Bible says that our ways are on no uh, her ways. You cannot know her ways because they are unmovable. That, believe me, some women can take you to hell. Not literally hell itself, yet that, that comes afterwards. But they can literally take you to hell or life of hell. But you're going to have hell here on earth. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I've seen a lot of stories. I've seen a lot of testimonies. And me... Of course, I'm not going through hell, like, per se, but, I, 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 you know, there's certain degrees of hell that people go through, and mine is just maybe, like, I, I'm not even touching the surface. I'm not even touching the, I, I'm not even, touch, I, I'm just scratching the surface. But for a, lot of men, uh, for a lot of men out there, especially men that have been fooled, have been taken advantage of, has been, um, accused of and everything, they're going, some of them are going through a literal hell where they are actually in court in and out paying thousands of dollars to lawyers and some of those lawyers, they sell themselves and some of those lawyers, those judges are crooked. So you got to be careful that you get the right lawyer, you get the right lawyer, please. This is not a joke. You want to spend thousands? Go right ahead. That is your prerogative. Do whatever you what, do. Whatever comes out, you want to do it. I'm not. I'm just here warning you. That's it. All I'm saying is, please be very careful out there. There's a lot of people that are evil. They got evil intention, evil motives, and one of the 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 end game, like one of the the strategic thing is is to get what they want and if they have to fake it for a whole year or maybe two years depending they'll do it they'll do it trust me they will do it okay there are women that they fake it for a very long time okay and there are guys also that they fake it too with women and they take women for suckers that is coming all over the place. What I'm trying to say is, please, I'm begging you in Jesus' name. Be careful. Be watchful. Keep an eye open. I mean, the woman could be beautiful. There's nothing wrong getting together with a beautiful woman, attractive, good looking, or whatever the heck you like. The thing is, if she is from another country, if she's not legal in this country, I'm warning you, be very careful. Be very careful. 
We're not going to repeat this. You're going to have to listen. If you don't listen, it's going to be on you. You want to spend thousands in court? You want to spend thousands with lawyers? Help yourself. It's like somebody said, uh, I remember when I first got saved, gave my heart to Jesus, one of the, 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 the slogans that we used to say is, you want to go to hell? Help yourself. In other words, a person doesn't want to accept Jesus. He wants to continue in his sins. You want to go to hell? Help yourself. You got all the rights to reject God, reject Jesus, reject the Holy Ghost. You can, you can go and, and go to hell and be there for eternity. Nobody's not going to stop you. You got all that. That's your right. God does not fringe that right of yours. Nobody's rights. But yet God warns people that if you go that way, you're going to go to hell to eternity. Now, again, again, please be careful. Check these people, wherever you're dating, check them out real good. Especially if they are illegal, be very careful. They're going to put you through hell if it's the wrong person. I'm saying if it was a person that is evil, they understand, but there are people that are good. Okay, I'm not saying that they, all, they are all evil. They are good people. So be very careful and check them out little by little, day by day, month by month, maybe one or two years down the road. Keep checking them. Keep investigating. Find out where they're coming from. Check their, their motives. Check their feelings. Check their emotions. Check their faces to see what they're up to. If not, you're going to play, you're going to be the sucker of the century. 